What is the one thing in common? Credit card review sites like MoneySense, Rewards Canada, Greedy Rates, and 99% all others have. They're all working for the credit card companies, selling credit cards by providing affiliated links to make money off you. You're not going to get honest and unbiased opinions from these sites. If you're looking for an independent, honest, and non-affiliated sites, then you have come to the right place. Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com and today I'll talk about the deep devaluation is going to hit a popular Canadian cashback credit card, Rogers World Elite MasterCard. Hello everyone, I'm going to go through all the changes that are coming to the Rogers World Elite MasterCard and if there are other credit cards, you can replace uh, Rogers World Elite MasterCard. So let's look at the cashback rate. Currently, this card offers 4% on purchases in any currency, including US dollars. And this is going to be only 3% cashback on purchases made in US dollars starting June 2nd. But if you make the make purchases in any other currency except US dollars, then your rate of return is going to be only 1.5%. So what it means that uh, whenever you're purchasing anything using this card, there's a 2.5% foreign currency conversion fee. Uh, until now, you'd be uh, on the positive side because of the 4% rate of return, which would offset 2.5% uh, and you'd still get 1.5%. But starting June 2nd, uh, only in US dollars, you're going to get 3%, uh, which is going to be at uh, you know half percent uh, rate of return after you subtract 2.5% uh, from uh, 3%. But if you're making purchases in any other currency, then the rate of return is 1.5%. So after considering a 2.5% foreign exchange fee, what it means that you're at a loss for 1%. So you're actually minus 1% rate of return on any currency. So that's a very big devaluation and uh, you shouldn't be using this card anymore to make uh, foreign currency transactions except US dollars. Now let's go to the regular rate of return starting in June 2nd. So right now, 1.75% on all transactions and 2% on Rogers transactions. For example, if you buy something from Rogers or pay your bills, then you get 2%. But this is going to be 1.5% flat on all purchases starting in June 2nd. So this is a big devaluation because you know you are losing 1.75% on everything, and it's going to be one. Uh, you're losing 1.75% on everything, and it's going to be 1.5%. Now. These devaluations were not big enough. They made another big devaluation to this card, which is right here. So there's a $15,000 annual spending requirement. What it means that, you know, if you do not spend $15,000 every year, starting August 1st to July 31st, then they're going to uh, switch it to a, another lower earning Rogers credit card. So this is a very big devaluation uh, because you know uh, the other devaluations i just talked about was not enough now they are even putting a minimum spending requirement which is fifteen thousand dollars so after all these uh, this is definitely not a good card to keep anymore and uh, this is my guess that most of the people you know who have this card now uh, they're going to be switched to other credit cards now, I'm going to just you know quickly look at the perks and benefits uh, this card uh, offers, which are not that great, but let's talk about them anyway. So, they're adding a new benefit, which is Boingo Global Wi-Fi. I have used this benefit with my other credit card. Uh, this is really not a good benefit. Uh, I tried using uh, Wi-Fi in Sydney, Melbourne, Singapore, Taipei, uh, Kuala Lumpur, many other countries. It never worked. So this is a benefit which is just there, but it, it usually doesn't work. So adding this benefit is not going to, you know, give you really any benefits. It's just, you know, on paper. And uh, they're saying that this is going to be a new benefit. And except that, uh, these benefits are already existing benefits. And these are, uh, this card provides some insurances. For example, extended warranty and purchase protection and rental car collision damage insurance, emergency medical travel insurance, trip interruption and trip cancellation insurance, and it offers MasterCard Airport Experiences Lounge membership. Now, this is another benefit which has no meaning. Uh, so what it means that, you know, they're not giving you any free lounge access, they're just giving you the membership. 
uh, if you want to still use the lounge you have to uh, pay 32 US dollars per visit so basically having this benefit doesn't mean anything uh, because there are other credit cards uh, which you can have which keeps you free lounge uh, access not just the membership so this benefit means nothing so now I'm going to talk about some other credit cards which you can use to replace the Rogers Elite MasterCard as some of them have annual fees and some of them don't. So let's go over them. Uh, American Express a simply cash preferred credit card which offers 2% flat cashback on everything which has $99 annual fee. Then we have a Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite credit card which has $120 annual fee and it offers 4% return on uh, grocery and uh, recurring bills, 2% on gas and transit, and 1% on everything else. And if you're looking for a free uh, cashback credit cards, then you have Tangerine uh, Moneyback MasterCard, which is uh, free, and it offers 2% return on three categories you can choose, and half percent on everything else. And then there's another card, which is Simply Cash Am American Express, which is also free, and it offers uh, 2 1.25% uh, flat cash back on everything. So after all these changes and the 15,000 minimum spending requirement, uh, you know, uh, you have to just take a hard look at this card. Uh, this card is to be one of the best Canadian cashback credit cards. Now, uh, this is going to be converting to a, one of the worst Canadian cashback credit cards. And I've been actually, you know, reading some of the online forums and everything. And, uh, you know, it looks like everyone is going to be uh, looking for alternative credit cards. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.